Please don't take that down for copyright, YouTube. I don't own this song. Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Sabrina and welcome back to my book deck. It's 2022! <laughs> first things first, I just wanted to say I finally, finally started a Storygraph account, which is, it's at Sabrina's Book Nook. I'm still trying to figure out how to use it so far. I've never used Goodreads before and I heard it's kind of like Goodreads, but you know, better. <laughs> so we're going to be figuring it out as we go along. If any of you guys have a story graph and you would like to share, let me know. You know, I'd love to follow you guys. I'd love to see what you guys are reading, what you want to read, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So yeah, I just want to say I finally set up my own story graph account. Today we're going to be doing a January haul. This haul was very, very accidental. I did not plan on doing a haul at all. In fact, I wasn't going to do a haul, but then it just sort of happened. Just like a series of things happened. First, Thrift Books gave me like a reward for a free book or something. It was like any book under $5 would be free, so I ordered from Thrift Books because of that. And then my best friend sent me some books for Christmas. And then... Barnes & Noble had a sale, which never happens. They never have a sale. And I know because every sale they've had, I've gone to and it was barely a sale. Like it wasn't a sale. This was an actual sale. For those of y'all that didn't know, from like December, I think 26th to the 28th, Barnes & Noble had a sale where it was 50% off all the hardcovers. That is an insane sale. I honestly thought it was a scam and then I went in person and there was, it was just packed. There were so many people and I was like, holy this is a real sale. And then I just couldn't help myself and I bought a lot of books then. Yeah, here we are. We're doing this haul. Let's get into the haul. Starting off with the very first book, Stop Saving the Planet, An Environmental Manifesto by Jenny Price. Now, I got this because when I was at Barnes & Noble, I was originally looking for another book on the environment that I thought was a hardcover but turned out to be a paperback, like a pretty expensive paperback, and I felt really bad because I even asked the worker where the book was because I could not find it, and it took me like 10 minutes to even find a worker because they were like busy with someone else, and then this nice lady, she showed me over to the paperback I originally wanted, and it was like $20. There's no way in hell I'm paying for a $20 paperback when literally the entire store's hardbacks are on sale. So after the lady left, I just sort of ended up browsing the environmental section because I still wanted a book on the environment. And then I found this book, which was literally only $10. I mean, it's, it's really, really short, but a $10 paperback so cheap what caught my eye was really the title like it's supposed to be an environmental manifesto but the title is stop saving the planet which i thought was a really just eye grabbing title and i i browsed through it and then i was like this is actually kind of interesting and it's cheap and i wanted a book on the environment and here it is i've been wanting to get more into books about the environment and climate change so i just wanted to start off with a beginner book i feel like that's pretty simple i feel like a book that calls itself an environmental manifesto seems like a very simple book to start with so I bought this book and I'm actually really excited because I feel like I don't read enough like educational books, especially on topics that I want to be educated on. So I got this book and we're going to see if it's worth it, hopefully. But I'm really, really excited to read this book. Okay, so the next book I got was Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. I actually got this book as a Christmas present from my best friend and it's been on my TBR list for so long i'm not even kidding again this is typically not the genre i lean towards but i've been hearing so much about it and again this year i really really want to branch out because i feel like i've been reading only one genre and it's really limiting me so i'm trying to read as many different books from him, as many different genres as i can and you know obviously the premise and the plot of the book is something that is very realistic and could happen in the real world so i feel like it's more of a like contemporary piece of is it fiction i'm pretty sure it's fiction yeah contemporary piece of fiction am i even using the word contemporary right i really hope so 
anyways again i'm trying to branch out my genres my best friend got this for me as a christmas gift so i'm incredibly incredibly grateful to her for that and i'm really 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 excited to read this book okay so the next book i got which was also a christmas gift for my best friend crying in h mart by michelle zahana when i tell you how long i have been wanting to read this book Oh my god every single time i've gone into a barnes and noble or i've done like a book haul and i'm buying books i've come this close to buying this book every single time but it was always so expensive and then i put it on like my wish list and my best friend she got it for me and i'm just i'm just so happy and i'm so incredibly grateful that she got it for me crying the age mart is a memoir of michelle's honor which i think i'm saying her last name right but i'm not sure she is the lead singer of japanese breakfast i love japanese breakfast i listen to jubilee like all the time in fact i think my most recent song is like be sweet or something but i i love japanese breakfast and i love age mart like five minutes ago i just texted my mom a grocery list for H Mart and then I heard of this book called Crying in H Mart and I was like hello hello and also this is written by an Asian American woman and I feel like that's something that's obviously going to speak to me. I've been wanting to read this book for so long and it, I think there was one time in Target I saw it it was only like ten dollars and I didn't get it. I still don't know why I did that. I don't know why I didn't just get it but now I have it and now I'm so excited. I think as soon as I finish filming this haul, I'm gonna start reading this because that's how excited I am and I've been holding off since Christmas and I just, I can't wait anymore. I just, I wanna read this book so bad. I'm so, so, so excited for it. And I know I shouldn't have high hopes when I'm reading a book, but I do have high hopes for this book and I'm really hoping it doesn't let me down. So the next book I got is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. Now, you might be a little bit confused because if you watched my last video then you'll know that this book was in my favorite reads of 2021 and you're like wait but if you're doing a haul now how did you have it in your video let me explain so basically i've had all these books since like last week maybe but i already had a video lined up where i was going to do my favorite reads of 2021 and i originally read the love hypothesis online so i didn't have a physical copy of it and then barnes and noble had their sale so i went in person and i bought it and then because of that i was able to include it in my favorite reads of 2021 which was already a planned video like i said this haul was accidental i wouldn't even be doing this video right now if it wasn't for that sale from barnes and noble but basically, here it is. I bought this book. Okay, I've already read it. I read it online, but I loved it so much I wanted a physical copy. And you're like, Sabrina, Barnes & Noble only had a sale for hardbacks. Yes, that is correct. This is a paperback, in case you haven't noticed. But my mom said she would pay for an extra book for my birthday. So I was like, you know what? perfect chance you guys i was debating between this book and people we meet on vacation which i haven't read at all but then come on you guys i have to have a physical copy of it i have to it's just i i have to i'm sorry but i have to i would say i'm super excited to read this but i already have read it and I, I was super excited to read it when i did read it originally but now i have my own physical copy of it and now that I do have a physical copy of it, I can make all my friends read it as well because I'm the only one of my friends that have read this book, surprisingly, and I have nobody to talk to about it. So I'm going to make all my friends read this book because it's amazing. Okay, moving on to the next book. Not Here to Be Liked by Michelle Quash. Another book written by an Asian author because, again, I'm really trying to like branch out here and include more POC authors on my bookshelf, which I realized are not that very diverse and I really want to change that. Also, one, look at how gorgeous this cover is. Oh my god, ah! Pretty sure the protagonist is Asian as well, so love that for me, especially if it's a rom com book love that for me and one of my 2022 new year's resolutions was to read more romance books so here we are but also too i've been wanting this book for so long i've mentioned this before but i follow this account and they give like a bunch of book recommendations and this one just really caught my eye and so i've been actually waiting for this book for a while since i first saw like the announcement for it i guess and then it was finally published and i was like i have to get it i know it's in hardback like i went to barnes and noble with two specific books in mind that i knew were hardcovers and i knew i wanted to get them and this was one of those books so i am just i'm so excited not only is the protagonist asian but it's also a rom-com which i'm i'm uh, i'm so excited for because i never see poc in rom-coms which really pisses me off but 
here's one where the protagonist looks like me she doesn't look like me but where the protagonist could possibly be like me and so I'm, I'm really really hoping that this pays off and I am so incredibly 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 excited for this and I'm so happy that it's still in hardcover because if it wasn't then I would have cried so next book we got is Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe another Asian author what can I say you guys what can I say? I'm kind of on a roll here. I've actually been wanting this book for, I don't think it's been a year, but it's been several, several, several months. I almost bought this book back in June when Barnes & Noble was doing one of their fake sales, but then I didn't get it and now I finally got it. I've been waiting for this book for so long, you guys. You have no idea. I've been waiting for it for so long. But basically, I know that it's like a sapphic romance with a Chinese lead, which I'm really excited about. Again, I'm trying to get more into romance. I'm trying to diversify my shelves. And let me tell you, I'm so happy that this was still in hardcover because I know it's been out for a while. But you know what? I finally got it, you guys. I finally got it. So next book we have is A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. So I kind of got this book because I had a budget when I went to Barnes & Noble, like I was like, okay, I have this budget, I'm gonna spend this amount exactly and get this amount of books. And so I was trying to reach my budget cause I was like, this sale is only gonna last like two to three days. So I'm trying to get my money's worth. And so I was just scouring the store looking for a hardcover so I could get it on sale. And this book caught my eye. To be honest, I don't really remember much about it. It was a hardcover and I wanted to meet my budget. Yeah, I heard that it's sapphic. I heard that it's dark academia, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but I've heard generally positive things about it. So I decided to give it a chance because I was like, you know what, at least I'm not paying full price for it, so might as well get it, you know what I mean? <sighs> Maybe that's not the best, most rational idea when shopping for a book, but who cares, you know? I bought it, and so I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna hope that it goes well. You know, I've bought books before that I wasn't entirely sure on before. Most of the time, it turned out that I love those books regardless, so I'm really hoping that this turns out well. And also, another one of my friends who did would go to Barnes & Noble as well for the sale also bought the same book, so I thought that was kind of a funny coincidence, but yeah. So, the final book I bought was The Hired Girl by Laura Amy Schlitz. So I got this book from the thrift books coupon reward thing I mentioned but basically they sent out an email and they're like you have a reward for a free book under five dollars and I was like okay bet I read this book back in sixth grade I think and I haven't really been able to stop thinking about it since so I just sort of bought it off of impulse and I paid only a dollar for shipping and the book is in pretty good condition. I actually have already read this book. I finished it yesterday because I was trying to reach my reading goal for 2021. This was my 75th book. I read 75 books in 2021. I'm not going to be able to read that many again. This book isn't exactly like super duper memorable, but it always stuck in the back of my brain for some reason. So I just sort of, I was kind of like, I have to get this book again and I have a free coupon, you know, might as well get it for a book I know that I liked reading at one point, so I decided to get it. And having finished reading it, I can only say, like, I don't regret my purchase. I think it was still a pretty good book and it was still a pretty good read after all these years. Those are all my books. I bought a lot, obviously, and now that I finished filming this all, I can finally read them. Yay! Honestly, my goal for this year is to not do as many hauls. I don't want to over consume, you know, which I feel like I did a lot of last year. I also ordered a lot of books from Amazon, which I don't do now, obviously, but I, I don't really like that I did that. So I think one of my reading goals this year is to definitely not over consume so much and when I do buy books, try to buy them more sustainably, I would say. Like, for example, I use thrift books a lot now, but I'm really trying to make it like a new year thing where I don't do as many hauls because I used to do a haul like 
every single month for some reason or every other month and I don't really want to do that anymore because I feel like I'm just gonna over consume. Let's see how will I uphold that resolution. Anyways, that's everything I had to say. So if you watched this entire video, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, don't. If you really hated it, you know, give it a thumbs down. But you know, don't do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Um, again, uh, make sure to join me on Storygraph and, I don't know, follow my reading journey along this year, I guess. And again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!